So my name is Glenn McGee. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in the uh, statistics and actuarial science department at uh, University of Waterloo. Um, the research I'm working on is related to a statistical problem uh, relating to electronic health records. Uh, so electronic health records are a really rich data set that are used all the time in medical and epidemiological research, uh, since they contain vast amounts of really rich data. Um, however, they're subject to all the idiosyncratic ways in which we uh, interact with the medical system. For example, uh, people who have a chronic condition may visit the doctor much more frequently than someone without a chronic condition. Uh, and so they have much more, uh, many more opportunities to receive a diagnosis of some other condition, uh, either correctly or incorrectly, uh, in their health record. Um, and so if you were to take a snapshot of these uh, electronic health record database and try to uh, do some sort of statistical analysis, you'll get sort of a biased uh, image uh, of the underlying relationships. And so this project is trying to uh, investigate that uh, source of bias and trying to potentially correct for it as well. Uh, for scientists and science more broadly, uh, I'm hopeful that uh, this will address a pretty big problem that's sort of uh, a little bit known in, in the medical field, but not really known what to do about it. Um, and you know, this is a pretty pervasive problem. Whenever you use these type of electronic health records or really uh, large health databases that have uh, observational data, uh, this type of problem could come up. So uh, being able to quantify the impact of that uh, could have pretty large uh, repercussions. This has helped me greatly. Uh, it's given me lots of funding uh, for the next year to be able to uh, recruit graduate students to work on this really exciting project. Um, and also to uh, be able to fund this project uh, before I apply for NSERC funding the next year. So it's really great as a sort of a bridge uh, year of funding before I apply for that. Uh, so it's been very helpful in both those senses. I absolutely encourage you to donate to the Banting Foundation. They're funding a lot of really great research projects, like hopefully my own. Um, and the money is really uh, directly helping with research and with training of graduate students who are going to go on and do even more great research. So I highly encourage you and I thank you in advance.